Hey guys, this is Zach and Grayson with Dream Media Home Theater. We're going to be unboxing the Onkyo TX-NR686. This is the newest Onkyo 7.2 channel receiver that's out right now. So, 210 watts, probably pushing like 100 watts. We'll look at the spec sheet on it. Here are some of the things that it does have. HDR at uh, HDR10. Dolby Vision, that's nice. Seven HDMI inputs, two out. AccuEQ, which is their calibration mic. Phono input, powered zone two, which we are gonna be using today. Wi-Fi enabled, Bluetooth, Chromecast, PlayFi, and high-res audio. All right, let's see what's inside. What's with this? Remote. Instructions. Set Batteries mic. included, no way. Wow. What is that right there? Is that an AM antenna, an AM FM antenna? And FM antenna? Wow. So very, if... very useful. <laughs> And then, Very and then the Accu mic. The Accu mic. All right. Now let's we'll see the hardware. All right. Christmas. Every day is Christmas at Dream Media. <laughs> All right. So here is the amp. Pretty cool. <laughs> so what's cool is uh, this year Onkyo released a firmware update to where Sonos integrates um, through, I believe it's a CD input on all their Onkyo receivers. So it'll do some automatic switching to make our life a little bit easier. We're gonna be hooking up the Sonos Connect to the Onkyo. And uh, here's the faceplate. Um, you got the power button, music optimizer, listening modes, tone as well as all of your hard button inputs, which is nice because some of these receivers have been taking hard button inputs off on the front. It also has the setup menu where you can go in and literally toggle every single aspect of this unit without the remote if you needed. It has zone two on and off, little dimmer, um, volume control, and then a front HDMI, audio, aux, and then the setup mic works with Google Assistant. That's for automation voice control. And then this is the model. NR686. Let's see the back, Gray. This is the back. Wow. Just as beautiful as the front. Antennas. Got some uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi antennas. We also have digital audio inputs. Uh, coaxial as well as our optical antennas AM and FM we have video component we got a powered USB we have our internet input to hardwire it as well as our HDMI's one through six and then it has a main arc which is for audio return and then sub this amplifier does support 4K HDR, DHCP 2.2, which is your most current version of HDMI. That's important if you're gonna be passing true 4K content. And then your speaker outputs. So this system we're gonna be hooking up front left and right and center, and then surround left and right. And then for our surround back, we're not gonna be using it. because This is just a 5.1. And then we're gonna use zone two to power up some patio speakers, which is pretty typical. I also use in a lot of applications the uh, 5.1 in a theater room and then zone 2 for like the game room or on a 9 channel system I'll use a 7.1 in the theater room and then 2 channels for the game room. Now it also has some analog inputs. You got phono, TV, CD, stream box, game, cable set and Blu-ray DVD and then line outs for zone 2 and the subwoofer. So these are important because if you guys do want the audio to output to zone two, you have to bring it in analog. You can't just hook up HDMI and then it convert to stereo audio for zone two. Keep that in mind. So this is, um, this is an overview and unboxing of the Onkyo TX-NR686. This is Zach and Grayson with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys would like to purchase this product, 
give us a call or shoot us an email. We are in Dallas and can do the installation for you, but if you're nationwide, we do have free shipping and a low price guarantee. Make sure to subscribe down below, give us a thumbs up, and comment and share. Thanks for watching. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. And this is Grayson with Dream Media Home Theater.